was using a local trap attract only uh, male male flies i was controlled only 70% of the fruit flies if you cut 25 fruits we are getting only one good fruit out of 25 24 will be infected till today the only way to control the Bactrocera dorsalis was using methyl eugenol with the, which is a, a, an attractant for male only and that's why it doesn't work and this is why it's such a huge problem all over Asia, China, India and in Africa where the same fly is called Bactrocera invendens but actually again it's the same one infestation usually reaches uh, 50, 60, 70 percent and even higher if the control is not good. can see here something very simple it cannot break uh, the device can work for four to six years usually it is suspended uh, on a tree very easily there is a container with a dripper we can see the drop here this one will work uh, for eight to uh, ten months even twelve months but it doesn't matter how hot it gets it will continue to um, uh, to drop just a few drops a day every drop contains the smell and also some phagus stimulants and the active ingredient 0.02 percent that is killing the flies we can see we have the uh, the formula here a few drops so the flies are attracted and to the device and standing on it leaking and a few minutes after they eat, uh, usually between 10 to 30 minutes, they will die. So this is important. Another thing which is important is that it can serve for area-wide control, meaning you don't control only your own orchard, you control the entire area. And so it is important that it will work for a very long time. This way, even in this orchard, after harvest, harvest uh, is just about to finish here uh, in a few days, it will continue to work, continue to reduce population. It will make sure that the flies here will not go to the neighbors, but also will not go for next year. Those flies can live sometimes for 200, 300 days and sometimes even more. So we don't want it. It is better to kill them now the next year when they make uh, a huge problem especially that every fruit can uh, host tens of larvas so the sooner we kill them the better it is what we can see there there is no glue it is not poisonous we can touch it uh, it is uh, environmentally friendly um, and especially friendly for the user for yeah. the farmer Okay, you put it uh, once, uh, once uh, a year. If it rains, we get a few more drops. So it renews itself. If it doesn't rain, it's also good. It can work in an extremely dry area, again, for hundreds of days. We can see here some of the flies, and we're talking about 60, 70% of the flies are female, uh, which is unique. In Colondon. Infested, there is no infestation, fully ripened, fully ripened, very good. <laughs> okay, now we're counting to see how many fruits we have. So, almost 150 fruits are there, doctor. 150 fruits, 150. Yeah, only one is interested among 150 fruits. Before using this uh, uh, method, 
before 20, uh, May 25th, it's okay. After May 25th, everything was finished. There should be no even a single fruit. Now, but this year, every fruit is clean and 100% uh, uh, we are safe. Previous year, we were seeing a good number of males attracted to the traps and dying. But this is the first time I am seeing that the female fruit fly is attracted and is killed. Where we, are, we have used local trap and where we have used your trap, there is a difference of 20,000 rupees profit per acre. So it seems that it's working and uh, this project basically is over. Now we are already uh, working with the farmers uh, to make a project for the future so they will be able to area wide control the fly and get even better results with lower cost per acre. Great meeting you and good luck. We hope that what we did here is of value for you and for the other farmers in this area, everybody. Okay, so... Thanks.